let's just get the elephant out of the room. Yes, the third picture did fall down. Yes, I also got the <laughs> frames of the Dollar Tree, and so I can't find a matching one. Let's move on. Hi, hello, my name is Kendra. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what to say. So this is a newly unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a while. I resubscribed because I had to go to a wedding last week in Portland um, and we thought it was like a cocktail attire um, and I really just didn't have anything that I felt like would fit. So I just did a little newly box and I was like, okay, perfect. And then I'll get some other items that I could wear that whole week. I would say it was a success. I'm gonna show you guys all the items. I did get a little sunburnt while I was there. I haven't been in the sun literally at all because I'm like a computer dweller now that I work from home. So my skin just wasn't ready for that amount of direct sunlight. So if you see just flakes of skin falling off, I assure you I've been scrubbing, <laughs> I've been moisturizing, and I still look like a gecko shedding its skin. Okay, anyway, you guys might already know, basically the newly packages every month come in this reusable bag. I think it's a brilliant idea, especially because you're going to be sending items back. You put your little thing there. As you can see, it's so sticky because I just ripped the thing off. That's one thing that I really do like about the service. And I believe you get six items. You get six items in a box. And actually next month, I'm going to get a free one. Like you gave me a little coupon for an extra item in my box next month. So very cool, very nice. We're gonna jump in. They were all pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna start with honestly the only true dud I feel like I got in the box. And it's not even that bad. It's just not what I pictured on the website. So like I said, it was supposed to be cocktail attire and I thought a little black dress, like this will be a safe pick. Famous last words, right? Not really expecting that I would feel so uncomfortable up top. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not a cleavage girl. Like I feel like I'm naked on the internet right now with the amount of cleavage that's happening. So the top just wasn't working for me. But then also the fabric, like I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a very like gauzy, I don't know, material. And it to me, it like cheapens it. Like I know it's a nice dress, super expensive because it's on newly, but just the fabric choice, I think makes it look a lot cheaper than it is. Um, it does have pockets, which sure, fine, they're kind of high. Um, but yeah, I just didn't think it was doing great things for me. I didn't love the fabric. The back has this interesting little um, cut out there and I thought that would be fine. And honestly, it kind of is, you can kind of just pull it up and it really doesn't matter. But overall, all of the elements together, I didn't love it. And I don't know if you can see, the gauze layer is longer than the sheer under layer. It might be crooked under there, but I digress. It just wasn't what I was imagining. I didn't feel like I could wear this and be comfortable. This was one of two items I did take, but this is the only one that I didn't take because I was like, uh, I don't love it. I'm not gonna wear that. So I also will say like everything fit from this haul. That might be because I'm going through this thing right now. I'm, I'm definitely heavier than in the past, that's fine. But I just have like a really skewed perception where I just assume that I'm the largest size available. Even if that's like not true. <laughs> I'm shopping on a website and I'm like, oh, the largest one available, that's what you need. It's incorrect, <laughs> mainly incorrect. So a lot of these items you'll kind of see like just a little bit big, but for this top, I kind of made it work. So it's elastic on the back, but this front seam is just like a solid seam. So I kind of just pulled it and then tucked it. A problem with that. The skirt is also pretty big, which elastic weighs is totally fine, but it did like kind of shift around. So totally fine. But if you guys see this outfit, this is gorgeous. And I'll pan down so you can see the bottom of the skirt, but I just wore this bebopping around town. It has pockets. And I feel like in a skirt like this, totally perfect. You can't really see them. It doesn't disrupt the lines of the skirt because it's so billowy and beautiful. And then I felt covered, but still somehow sexy. And like I wore this little lacy bra underneath as well. And so even when it did like creep open, I didn't feel exposed. There was no cleave line. <laughs> Usually that's my like, that's my no zone. I don't want to see the cleavage line. <laughs> it was a really cute outfit. I got a lot of compliments just like walking on the streets of Portland. It does have this little, this little claspy button thing going on here, but I didn't like the way this looked. So I didn't use that. I just kind of did this. And I don't know if you can tell, there's a little collar. So like it's almost off the shoulder. Like, look at this. Am I on the Italian seaside? I don't know. I'll input some pictures 
of like me wearing this in the city. I freaking loved it. The skirt is Anthropology own brand and I got it in the 3X, which I believe was the largest size. I believe the top is also Anthropology <laughs> brand, also in a 3X. So both of these items, even just in general, I think run pretty big. The skirt because it has so much room and same with the top. It's meant to be this kind of billowy oversize. So, so you definitely do not have to size up at all. Like that's unnecessary. But let me pan down so you can see the bottom of the skirt. It's this like asymmetrical, I would call this honestly like a handkerchief hem. It was like high and low. It's definitely not like all one length. And I just love it. The movement, the sheen, the little polka dots like this is very much a me outfit that I feel very comfortable in very cute both of these items worked beautifully and yeah if they're available I would definitely give them rent if you have like an occasion or honestly if you just want to look a little bit more elevated this is gorgeous I wore flats but you can do heels if you're that girl I am no longer that girl so when I picked this shirt out I picked it after I picked these shorts and that skirt thinking like oh I can wear it with both and honestly there's nothing wrong with this my belly line shows all the time. It's there. It's going to be there. I'm just not as comfortable with it as I once was. So I got these shorts. They fit beautifully. They're super, like, not super stretchy. They have, like, a comfortable stretch but still looking tailored and cute. They're super high-waisted, but what's interesting is that they're high-waisted, but they're still very short, if you can tell. And that's the only reason I didn't bring them, because I knew I was going to be on public transit and doing all that kind of stuff. And I really just didn't want my their thighs sitting on public transit and that's just that's just a preference they are super cute i did love this little almost like 70s pattern like i think it's so so cute it had the little belt and like i said just like they're really comfy but weren't perfect for this trip they would have gone with this top like i think this is cute just not for where it was going i think these ones i did get in larger size and i do think i needed that these are either 24 or 26 but i always size up in shorts because i am accommodating my stomach which is the largest part of me my stomach my hip area my top half is like a 20 22 but my bottom half is probably a 24 26 but you see what i was doing with these outfits and that was like what was really nice about newly is that you could pick things and kind of think about them and how they're going to work together and i totally was going to re-wear this top change out the bottoms and feel like you know had a little capsule wardrobe going on i still kind of had that but just not with these shorts oh i guess we should probably show you there's no button or anything either it's just a zip and it has this itty bitty little like i don't even know if you call that a button just like a little boop and then you just tie the belt so super chill super easy okay so this dress was another contender for the actual wedding but again once it came i was like oh no that's much too casual um even though it ended up being that the wedding wasn't as formal as like we expected this would have been fine but seeing it I just again was uncomfortable with the boobs but I was like oh I can totally wear this walking around it's long it's comfy let me back you up I was totally comfy like walking around the town in this like I thought it was super fun beautiful like kind of boho style which isn't my usual vibe but I thought it was really cute and the whole back is smocked and stretchy so yeah this was a really comfortable dress there are no pockets it's just very chill it is very gauzy too i wore this handy dandy little white blouse on top like honestly i feel like i should get the size down of this and just buy it because it was so versatile i wore this just like this over it and we were at the farmer's market we were like bopping around and i just thought it looked great and i kind of wore it off the shoulder a little bit so you could see that i was wearing a dress underneath you know because you can wear it more open yeah and i just thought this was really really cute made it so i felt way more comfortable and it gave me another layer as well just because like i don't want to think about what i'm wearing like the more you're aware of your outfit and like the clothing physically on your body the more it takes you out of your day-to-day -day and like what you're doing especially because i was on a trip i didn't want to think about it i wanted to be comfy wanted to be cute and i wanted to be cool <laughs> um, because i know i'd be doing a lot of walking so this little top honestly allowed me to do that and still feel cute and comfortable again all the pictures in here so you guys can see but this was like a great little combo for me and if you didn't want to wear this on top obviously you can wear it by yourself or you could have even done like a little denim jacket like something like that but i've always loved like a top over a dress moment i think it's so cute and really like mixes up the amount of ways that you can wear a dress so yeah both of these perfect this is what i wore to the actual wedding you guys are gonna have to do a little imagination work because i did so much to make this fit beautifully for the wedding like right now you're probably looking at this like oh like it looks a little ill-fitting and weird like again I got this in a much larger size than I should have I, the last dress was a 3x I think this is as well and I could have just done 
a 2x how it goes so it has this beautiful halter neck that you just tie and then this back you'll kind of see it is so big and it just it's supposed to be an open back but obviously not to this caliber and then obviously because of that the sides were like way open and i couldn't wear a bra with this so i wore an amazing sticky bra i'm actually gonna link it for you guys because i was very impressed i was calling them chicken chicken cutlets all night because it's like literally just like the sticky little bloop but it worked beautifully and once this was all tacked down it was so seamless and so pretty there are pockets in this dress but basically what i had to do and hallelujah for my fiance being um he used to be a tailor he used to work at indochino and make suits amazing so he was able to help me get into this dress and that is part of the reason all of these um safety pins came into play so i put the dress on inside out and he went along the seams and basically pinned the fabric on the inside and he also did a pleat in the middle at the back and what that allowed it to do was to fit really snug around my body here along the back and it made the back sit much much higher and made me feel super comfortable so it was it's kind of like this again i'll put some pictures so that you can like visualize but looking at it just like this it's like oh not the best fitting item but it looked really beautiful and i felt like a million bucks in it and then even this halter like i just tied it super super tight i didn't feel icky or uncomfortable i just felt like super secure in the rest of the dress so like i don't know i was fine with my arms being out and it was quite warm so like it really i couldn't have had my arms covered and have still been comfortable so yeah i recommend getting your correct size but you can always make it work if you get things too big oh my guide ring but it worked out and i actually wore this just with my little black block torrid heels perfect very comfortable well <laughs> I was uncomfortable it's just because i don't wear heels anymore but these would be a comfortable heel for someone that doesn't usually wear heels and yeah that was it this is the last item from the box so that is it for my newly box and honestly i feel like the price was definitely worth it i want to say i'll put it on the screen is it like 90 dollars or something like that for six pieces i took four of them on a vacation with me got plenty of wear out of them and honestly that price isn't even the price of one of these items and because they're such statement pieces I wouldn't have worn them again so i would have bought them just for this occasion and then they would have just been in my closet so i personally think it's worth it it's obviously up to you depending on your situation how you're going to wear them but i think it worked out perfectly and also just because i'm not feeling my best i feel like it was almost like a little bit like self-carry like i got a blowout before i went i got my nails done once i got there i had this like little satchel full of new things and I feel like it really prepped myself to get out of my comfort zone and we met up with a lot of friends and like we just did a lot more than I've been doing at home and honestly it was much needed and I feel like the clothes especially like looking good makes you feel good like at least for me if I'm wearing a good outfit confidence goes from like down here to like way up here and it I mean it shows and people are so sweet and so nice like stopping me on the street this woman literally like rolled down her window she's like I love your skirt and I was like thank you you know and that's another thing not me sitting here giving <laughs> life advice. Be nice to other girls. If you see somebody and you like their outfit, tell them you like their outfit because they could be having a real crap, a body image day, just a bad day in general. And a comment like that, I, I was sky high. I talk to my sister every evening and I tell her all about my day. And like those things stuck with me all day. I was like, oh my God, you'll never believe it. This girl said she loved this, she, said that she loved that. And like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm gonna remember that. For a while like that was really sweet so always say something if you see it you love it just tell her like it's never going to go bad <laughs> and i try to do the same like i really try if i see someone and i really like their outfit like just tell them tell them that's my soapbox for the day <laughs> i really appreciate you guys watching what did you think are you guys using newly i feel like some people love rental other people are like mm, not for me i love that it's plus size friendly obviously there's all a lot of other rentals but honestly the selections aren't very aren't very good um and i think anthropology who owns newly well urban <laughs> owns newly i do feel like they have such an array of like brands and sizes and they're out there doing the work <laughs> now that i'm in fashion um i really do know that it is on like the brand <laughs> to basically get together with a seller whether it's a department store or wherever to create these like plus size collections and there are so many brands that they carry on newly on anthropology that don't actually do plus sizes so you know they're doing the work on the back end 
to get those collections in store for the plus size customer, which thank you so much. We have so much farther to go, but like, I do appreciate it. And the amount of things that were available, like that, that's like the most selection I've had in a while. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all the nice things down below. I'm not making any promises, but I do have a Torrid haul coming up. And it's honestly just because I've been buying Torrid. <laughs> um, and you guys will see in that video, but yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. You always let me know. You always